You know, I'm always in the lookout to find the best meats for the best prices. And today, I have the best news I had in a long time to share with you. So you can hit that like button already because this one will be epic. Yes, my people, I found what I was looking for for so long. After 20 years in 2018, the U.S. opened the importation of Argentinian beef to the country again. And I found a distributor that is bringing the equivalent of prime in Argentinian terms. And what does that mean? It means that we are now able to buy, once again, one of the most delicious and flavorful beef in the entire world. And I even have a coupon ready for you. Check the description. And to prove it to you, I went ahead and bought the best prime picanha I could find. And we're going to make a comparison right now. Argentinian climate and beautiful pastures produce one of the best beef in the world. Also, Argentina is one of the biggest producers of beef in the world, and their meat have earned a reputation of being amazingly tender and flavorful. And what makes Argentine beef taste so good? The answer lies in the life of the cattle, from start to finish. When the Spanish first brought cattle to Argentina in the 16th centuries, the Pampas must look like a paradise to them. The 300,000 square mile prairie is seemingly endless and mostly flat, with a humid and temperate climate perfect for growing plenty of cow-friendly grass. Cattle that is raised in grassy plains eating grass are much less likely to acquire or spread disease compared to fedlock cattle, which are primarily fed with grains such as corn. Therefore, they don't need to pump antibiotics into the cattle just because of infections. And that also makes the meat to be smaller compared to other beef cuts. It is common for an Argentine ribeye to be a quarter smaller than what you are used to with a regular ribeye. But don't allow that to fool you. The cuts might look smaller, but all of them are packed with a bunch of flavor. Something else to have into consideration when you are dealing with Argentine beef is the marbling. As all the cattle is grass-fed, the marble will be less than what you are used to in a regular prime cut. But trust me, you would prefer the Argentine better than the prime. The flavors are hard to describe because it's not gamey or grassy like other beef, but it's strong and tender in a really pleasant way. Every bite is a little pack of flavor that will melt in your mouth, leaving you with a desire for more. In this case, we will compare it to a beautiful prime picanha I was able to buy near me. I'm having all the members of my family to try it as I know they never tried it before, and I really want to get the reaction. And I decided to go with picanha because I know that's something they don't eat often and they are no precondition to the fable profile. As you can see, I'm making this experiment as fair as possible. So now it's time to add salt to the picanha and grill them to perfection. Picanha when cooked as steaks is a bit different. I like to cook them right on top of the high heat for a total of 5 minutes and flip them once. The distributor of this beef is called Corte Argentino. I'm leaving a link in the description with a coupon for a discount on your first order. And while there, remember to subscribe if you haven't, and hit the like button. You will know that your grill is hot enough when you see the fat cap of your steaks caramelizing as they should. If you don't see this when you flip your steaks, add some more charcoals to the grill. Now it is time to let them rest for 10 minutes and give them a try. I have my niece in here, my nephew here, and we're gonna give it a good try. I'm gonna let them try by themselves and see if they can figure it out. Let's go, guys. That's looking beautiful. I'm excited. Alex. Okay, we're going. Okay, get. I'm gonna get this one. No, get, get both. Get the one, the same one. The same, same one? one. So yeah. get this one. Yeah. Okay. I gotta eat that one. Take that. One. There you go. All right, let's give it a good try, guys. Cheers. <laughs> How do you like it? Tell me, what do you think about it? Oh my god. No words can explain it. <laughs> it's absolutely All right. so flavorful. Just absolutely 
tender. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Really good, huh? Absolutely. All right. I want you both to try the next steak next. This one? Wow. Ah. That one's really good. You can taste it fine for you. Okay. <laughs> Is this number C? No. No. That's number... Another number. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Go for it. <laughs> it just it has the right amount of protein and fat and the way that it just melts in your mouth it's just unbelievable do you find <laughs> any difference between one and the other this one tastes a little stronger better taste but i think with having a little bit more fat on it it balances the strong flavor that's not what it is what is it, what is it? it's an argentinian from argentinian it's definitely a different so this one different. which one is this one that's the argentinian uh -huh. the other one is just Regular prime pecan. Completely different flavor. Wow. How do you like which one like better? I like this one because the flavor is more pronounced. Like it's, it's like you one. could taste like the meat. This one's like it tastes good, but that one's like a bam in your mouth. It is exactly the same steak. I was about to say that because once again you get the powerful flavor of without the without the part of the fat, but then once you combine them, it just creates harmony. <laughs> it creates <laughs> harmony. I don't know what else to say. It just it balances it out left and right to make the perfect union. All right, I think I think we have somebody becoming a Buddha here or something like, full of harmony and stuff. This is gonna be awesome, guys. These two steaks are Argentinian beef. Wow. It tastes different. It is better in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It tastes amazing. You have that strong tenderness of the Argentinian. Miss Ninja, give it a try. Let's Let see. me give it a try. Okay. Miss Ninja is an expert on these things. <laughs> there you go. So let's try this one right here. That one was the best. Oh, I don't okay. know what it was. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, bro. That was amazing. Wow. The beef flavor. Mm -hmm. It's extremely strong. That's what wow. I was saying. This one compared to this can, one, 100% difference. You can definitely taste the quality from one to the other one. It's and the way that it breaks down, it's just, it's so different, but it's so, wow. it's, it's so more delicious. For it's sure. way more delicate, the flavor mm -hmm. and the strongness of the meat. It's not Correct. like, it's not like overwhelming. It's not grassy. It's no. not, not really strong. It's just a little bit strong. It's not gamey at all. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit strong to make it amazing. Well, and remember that I'm leaving all the information down there in the description, the, wherever you can buy it, the, you can go and check the website out. The prices are amazing and everything is looking beautiful there. They ship all over the country. So if you really want to give it a try, man, you guys should give it a try because it's real mm -hmm. good. And if we made you hungry, please hit us with the like. Lots and lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to put your comments down there. What do you think about this Australia? Uh, uh, Australia? No, this Argentinian <laughs> beef. <laughs> What do you think about this Argentinian beef? Do you try it before? What do you what do you think it is? You know, it is a completely different pro profile of flavors and it's yes, amazing. It That's all for today. <laughs> but remember that I love you. Mwah. Thanks for watching. We love you too. And see you on the next one. Now they're gonna finish all that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs>